A bumper crowd created a cracking atmosphere at Nina Ormond as Tipperary rivals Cashel travelled for the Division 2A clash. Brian McNeese was the man with the whistle and it was Cashel who kicked us off into the darkness on New Ormond Park. Cashel began well, pushing Nina deep into home territory as they forced a penalty. A deserved three points from Connor Holland gave the visitors the start they were looking for in just the second minute. The home side then got a foothold inside Cashel's half and they secured a very tidy line out just outside the 22 and a very composed mall was organised. Cashel infringed and Nina were offered an opportunity to hit back. Clayton Stewart stood up and a sweet strike from him levelled the scores. As the game settled a bit, Cashel were playing the better stuff. Again, they got deep into Nina's 22 and an all-age shove from the visitors got the better of the home pack. James Ryan controlled the ball well at the back and he touched down for a pushover try in the 14th minute. Holland's conversion attempt drew back towards the posts but started a bit too far right and it was 8-3 to the visitors. As the rain began to fall it was Nina's turn to get some cohesiveness. They regrouped and mauled up the line following a line out, out wide on the right. Slow ball was presented at the base and Cashel managed to disrupt the delivery and the ball spilled out. David Mackey reacted quickest and fed off into the hands of Clayton Stewart. The out half flung a sensational reverse pass out wide to the grateful Ethan Mooney out on the wing and he cantered into the corner flag making it 8 all, much to the delight of the home crowd. Stewart's conversion started online but slid across the front of the posts. The game developed into a tough and close contest. Cashel edged three clear thanks to a Connor Holland penalty in the 31st minute and then five minutes later Nina Orman responded with one of their own through Clayton Stewart and the sides were all square 11 all as they went in at half time. In the opening 10 minutes of the second half Cashel were threatening to overwhelm Nina. Nina's honesty in defence though was rewarded with a little good fortune when conditions got the better of Cashel. In the 52nd minute, Cashel spilled the line out. Cronin Gleeson gathered possession and found flanker Anthony Gray, who led the breakout. The ball went through the hands till a long pass found Michael Walsh. He kicked ahead deep into Cashel territory, and it was Clayton Stewart who won the race and touched down for a thrilling five pointer. Stewart drilled the conversion, and suddenly Nina had a significant seven point lead 18 points to 11. Five minutes later, Nina were on the hunt again. This time, Willie O'Connor's line break disrupted the Cashel defence. David Mackey worked possession into the hands of Clayton Stewart, who in turn found Kevin O'Flaherty. O'Flaherty did everything right. He straightened, drawing in defenders and managing to offload around the back of the tackle, playing in Anthony Gray, who plunged over in the corner for a 23 points to 11 lead. Stewart's conversion attempt from the touchline came off the upright, leaving 12 point gap between the sides. A penalty from the boot of Oliver McGlinchey in the 62nd minute gave Cashel hope with 20 minutes to go. In the dying stages, the home side forced Cashel back into their own 22 and they maintained possession while punching around the fringes. Then, when the defence was on the back foot, the ball went down the blind side and Clayton Stewart slipped through a gap, grabbing a bonus point try in the 84th minute. He then clipped over the conversion, leaving the final score from New Ormond Park. Nina Ormond, 30, Cashel, RFC, 14.